Dallas, the ninth largest city in the United States, is nationally recognized for its vibrant and growing cultural scene. It is home to world-class museums, avant-garde theater, traditional and cutting-edge dance companies, a celebrated public art collection, diverse community festivals, historic architecture, and a world of classical and contemporary music. The arts are a vital part of the quality of life that make Dallas such a great place to live, work, and play. Dallas's arts and cultural community really has something for everyone. More than 200 innovative and diverse arts and cultural organizations produce over 30,000 quality cultural events each year, and Dallas Culture Scene will take you on a tour of it all. Today we're going to visit Preservation Link, a neighborhood-based organization that blends youth, the arts, and cutting-edge media technology. We'll also meet Curtis King, the visionary founder and director of the Black Academy of Arts and Letters. And finally, we'll visit the Dallas Children's Theater, which is celebrating its 25th anniversary of youth and family theater this year. So sit back and get ready, because here we go. Preservation Link was founded in 1999 with a conversation about how the various concerns of Dallas youth could be addressed. Ten years later, Preservation Link is still going strong. David Herman Jr. is the organization's co-founder and director. Preservation Link is an arts and education agency that primarily builds programs and curriculum for youth in the way of youth media, so photography, videography, editing, being able to conduct interviews and document uh, their com the students' community. Preservation Link's primary focus is on community and culture in Dallas neighborhoods. In the work that we do through Preservation Link, we have an opportunity to, one, have dialogue and discourse with young folks in the community. And because we have that opportunity to sit down and have that kind of exchange around ideas. The goal is to build, turn those ideas into an ideology. And an ideology that those students can then take and create images to support. Preservation Link maintains a variety of significant educational partnerships within the city of Dallas. Preservation Link is important to the community because it is exposing the children to photojournalism, is exposing them to how to handle a camera. It's also exposing them to a chance to explore their own world, to find something beautiful in their own community, and to look within themselves and to know their own self-worth. When we look at Preservation Link, that what does it have done for this particular community, what will you bring back to the community? When you get older, will you move away or will you come back? So now they are saying, I will come back into this community, I will bring something back. And so that, to me, is planting a seed. And that's something that Preservation Link and David Herman is doing, is help plant a seed in the young child. And so you actually change the community by starting from the young to the old. Preservation Link relies on exceptional staff, volunteers, and members of the community. At Preservation Link, I am a student intern, and I currently work with the Media and Arts Leadership club at Pearl C. Anderson and it's a group of middle school students. They're a small group of students and we work really close together and right now we're developing um, digital stories and it's they pick a theme of their community that they would like to change and they express it through their digital story. I learned about Preservation Link through a teacher of mine and I was looking for something interesting to do for the summer, something that I didn't just get paid for and wasn't just working for but something that would actually help me and help me towards things in life that I would be interested in. And so she told me about the program Preservation Link offered which was Sight and Sound and she told me about Dave Herman and I was really interested because I've always been interested in photography and plus I understood that I would get college credit and I would get a stipend and it was just really exciting. So. 
With a number of successful and ambitious education programs, Preservation Link has a high expectation for youth. The program that I was in is Sight and Sound 2007, and we made documentaries and we focused on different issues in our community, and we just we expressed it through documentary work. Much like the youth and media it promotes, the prospects for continued success are high for Preservation Link. We're really excited about that. And, you know, we, we, we have seen already the results of students going from point of view into the media club, um, and then students starting out in sight and sound, and then coming back uh, to, to work with us. So what we would like to see in the future is more of that type of maturity in the students that pass through are engaged in our programs and that we will be able to be a resource and share that and be able to create a culture of youth media in Dallas. When we come back, we'll meet Curtis King, a Dallas legend and founder of the Black Academy of Arts and Letters. 